Looking to escape from city life, Kanye West decided that Wyoming was the place to be back in 2019. But instead of grabbing a single massive mansion to reside in, Yeezy decided to purchase not one, but two huge ranches out in the country. Today, we're going to look at both of these stunning ranches. We have what's currently known as the West Lake Ranch that's also referred to as the Yeezy Campus. Then there's the Bighorn Mountain Ranch. Both of these places add up to thousands of acres and cost millions to purchase, and West has a lot of plans for the land. So let's get started. Back in 2017, Kanye West began taking plenty of trips to the U.S. state of Wyoming. The following year, he chose to record large portions of his album Ye in the state. He even hosted a listening party for the album at the Diamond Cross Ranch in Jackson Hole. By September 2019, after falling in love with the Cowboy State, West decided to purchase a more permanent residence there, and he found the perfect place, the Monster Lake Ranch Resort. Based near the town of Cody, the property was on the market for $14 million. The ranch is made up of eight parcels of land. While the exact sale price is unknown, according to reports, West's purchase wasn't far off the asking price. The deal came with 4,524 acres owned outright, with a further 4,654 acres of land leased from the Bureau of Land Management. Some reports state that West only received around 1,400 acres with this purchase. However, in an interview with GQ in 2020, West claimed he owned around 12,000 acres throughout Wyoming, so it likely means he got the bigger portion of acreage from this original deal. After acquiring the property, the name was changed to the West Lake Ranch. West has been known to call it the Yeezy Campus. During an interview with Jimmy Kimmel in 2019, Kim Kardashian stated that the power went out in one of the rustic cabins they were in during their first night visiting the ranch. Just based on that experience, she might be happy to leave the ranch with West after their much-publicized divorce. West has plenty of plans to turn the West Lake Ranch into a paradise, and he can certainly afford to, as Forbes at the time of writing has West's net worth estimated at $1.8 billion. After all, in 2020, his fashion brand Yeezy made $1.7 billion in sales. At the time of the purchase, the ranch reportedly had enough cabins to accommodate 70 people altogether. There's said to be eight luxury cabins for around 20 guests to enjoy. Several high-profile celebrities such as Justin Bieber and David Chappelle have been reported to have stayed at the ranch in recent months. TMZ reported in 2020 that West had gotten permission to build a huge 52,000 square foot mansion on the ranch. It'll replace a number of the lakeside cabins that were already in the area. There are also plans to build two 10,000 square foot underground garages. In 2019, reports came out that West was planning to build an open air amphitheater on the ranch. In his planning application, the rapper wanted it to be 70,684 square feet in size. The county officials stated he would also need to create 175 parking spaces, but that figure could be reduced if certain criteria were met. However, later on, the officials ordered construction on the amphitheater to stop, as West didn't have the correct permit. The name of Monster Lake Ranch Resort came from the apparent monster trout in the nearby lake that shares the ranch's name. The Monster Lake is said to be 180 acres in size. The other freshwater lake on the ranch is 128 acres and is named Quick Lake. In 2020, according to reports, West began having large dome-shaped buildings created across the property. The idea was inspired by Luke Scott. Skywalker's abode on Tatooine in Star Wars. West had previously built similar prototype domes for low-cost housing on his $60 million Calabasas property, but they were pulled down due to failure of getting a permit. During an interview with GQ in 2020, West mentioned that one of the underground domes on the property was purpose-built for skateboarding. Other amenities when the ranch first went up for sale include a state-of-the-art firearm range, cattle barns and grazing space, a restaurant and saloon, a bird barn, and a flight pen that can hold 1,000 1,500 birds and a climate-controlled storage room. On top of buying up ranches in Wyoming, West also leased a couple of manufacturing facilities in Cody for his Yeezy brand in December 2019. Previously owned by Cody Laboratories, the facilities were constructed with a reported $2.35 million grant. According to GQ, West has access to just under 12 acres of commercial property in Cody. In January 2021, NME released an article and interview with the rapper Lil Baby. He had visited Kanye West at his Westlake ranch in 
July 2020. Lil Baby mentioned that he didn't see West working on any music at the time. However, quote, I saw him working more in a different form, working on his clothing line and his shoes. That's even more inspiring than the music, unquote. West must have been doing it in secret since the release party for the album Donda happened in July 2021. Not really content with just one massive ranch in Wyoming, West had to purchase another a few months after the first in November 2019. Located around 50 miles from Monster Lake Ranch Resort sits the Bighorn Mountain Ranch near the town of Graybull. The ranch was started in 1906 by the Flitner family and was passed down through the generations, but with 6,713 acres to look after, it was time for the family to move on to pastures new. As such, the Flitners listed the property with an asking price of $14,495,000. The ranch is based within the Wyoming wilderness and is contained in grasslands and mountains. The estate is also surrounded by 30,000 acres of protected private land that the ranch controls access to. On top of the cattle farming that the ranch has specialized in, numerous different wild animals and birds flock to the area each year. Up to 2,000 elk are said to visit the ranch each year. But for those that prefer fishing, there's plenty of creeks, lakes, and ponds throughout the estate that are filled with trout. According to reports, West paid the asking price for Bighorn. So across the two big ranches, Yeezy is estimated to have spent up to $28,495,000 on the properties. According to the news outlet People, they stated that the Bighorn Ranch would be the permanent home for West Sunday service and the main headquarters for the Sunday service choir. On top of this, they also state he has plans to create a spiritual retreat at the site. A big big plus of buying this land in Wyoming for West is that it's said to be the most tax-friendly state for land ownership. While there is nearby access to a 7,000-foot-long runway at the South Bighorn County Airport close to Graybull, the owners of the ranch wanted to make their land even more welcoming for flight lovers, so they have two heated helicopter pads for all-year use. According to experts, the cost of a simple pad can cost $15,000 to install, while a more luxurious one that features snowmelt technology can go up to $500,000. The homestead comes with a load of different cabins and lodges spread throughout out, one of which is the Bald Ridge Lodge. Overlooking a pond, the main building has five bedrooms and four bathrooms. It has a commercial kitchen, a wraparound deck, a dining room, an outdoor fire pit and grill, and more. Next to it is the cookhouse cabin. It has similar amenities and can house up to two guests. There are another three cabins that have space for up to six people between them. Next is the snowshoe lodge and cabins. The main house has three stories that contain three bedrooms and three bathrooms with a custom kitchen. In the basement is a wet bar to keep guests happy. There's also an adjoining walk-in sauna. The other smaller cabins nearby can fit in up to four people. The lodge also features a large garage to store cars or ATVs. There's even a walk-in cooler primarily used for hunting. For those wanting to stay in a place with history during their vacation, then the estate had the cow camp cabin available. The early 1900 restored property is said to be filled with the history of the Flitner family. The cabin includes a piped-in spring-fed water source and a fenced corral with pens for horses or cattle. Final fact finish! One of the most expensive ranch sales of all time is said to have happened in 2016. Sport club owning billionaire Stan Kroenke reportedly purchased the Wagoneer Ranch in Vernon, Texas. The 800 square mile ranch was originally on the market for a massive $725 million. While Kroenke's exact purchase price is unknown, it's believed to be pretty near the asking price. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.